Hello Libra, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Dove Tarot. Um, firstly, before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much for your support and patience whilst I haven't uploaded readings for a couple of weeks. Um, to be honest, it's been a really big couple of personal weeks professionally. Um, I've had I've hit some major milestones and I've been celebrating. So I didn't have time to do tarot. I, I couldn't find the time. I did try. It just wasn't going to happen. Um, and ultimately I say this to all per people that I do personal readings for and in all my friendships self first, right? When you put yourself first, that's when you're able to actually help others. Cause if you don't, no one else will. So it had to be a little bit of a moment of me time. Um, I'm so glad I took that time for myself. Um, and I'm back now ready than ever to serve and um, be of help. So, um, thank you also to my regular subscribers, the ones who reached out to me to make sure that I was okay. That's very sweet of you. Um, yes, I'm fine. And now let's get started. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, if you've followed me for a little while, you'll know is one of my very favorite cards when it comes to love in all of the deck because it speaks of something concrete, an offer of something firm. Now, I will tell you, um, in the recent past, in the last couple of days, you've had the Queen of Swords coupled with the Three of Swords coupled with the Nine of Swords, right? Queen of Swords is your energy, so... Um, it's air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Three of Swords speaks about heartbreak and Nine of Swords speaks about anxiety. Now, I don't feel like this is actually a breakup. Um, uh, for some of you, it very well could be that is the meaning of the card. But I feel like it's like a tense moment in your connection. And I feel like you've come on top. You've come out going, yep, we're going to reconnect and, and re-put something into this, reinvest. And the reason why I say that is because you have the King of Cups coupled with the Nine of Cups, okay? King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, in terms of other signs, I do have an Aquarius here. I also have a Gemini, um, a Virgo. They're the main ones, okay? But this, this King of Cups energy is this, like, this is the guy that has his emotions in check. He knows how he feels. He knows what he's going through. He knows everything that he wants. Um, and I feel like you're getting your wish fulfillment. If you are reconnecting with your partner, you do have this really beautiful soulmate kind of connection. Okay. Six of cups for me is like that either past life connection or soulmate connection. This person is either a past life for you, like either a karmic lesson or a soulmate. Okay. There now I, I'm not going to go into this video about the differences between a soulmate, a uh, karmic connection, a twin flame. They all hold different roles for us in our lives when it comes to our spiritual mission here on earth as humans. But just know that this is a beautiful connection. OK, you do have at the center of the reading, however, five of cups. So I feel like Libra, you can get in your head. OK, you can self-sabotage. You can think things through. You can make things seem worse than what they are. Um the five of cups always represents about, you know, you can see here it's drawn with an owl losing a few babies, like in a traditional tarot shows the cups being tipped over and, and, you know, your milk being spilt or your drink being spilt and feeling like it's all over. Well, the message here is to say, you've still got two healthy connections here and that's you and your other person. All right. So don't worry about the past, what's happened, what's happened in the last couple of days. Focus on this, focus on the love in the end. That's all there is. Right. And this person is, is, does have the ability to make you very happy. It's just all about how we communicate. And you have the eight of wands here, a card of communication, of actually communicating to each other. And I feel like when you get through this little bump, which you will, um, by the time the full moon comes up, which is in Aries on the 25th, this is the world. This card is showing me it's completing that cycle for you. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're just kind of in that phase where you're, you're waiting for um, everything. You're patiently waiting for everything to... Um, to blossom, to, to get to that point. Just get out of your head, stay out of this. Trust in your connection. You have two cards of wish fulfillment, okay? You need to trust in that. This is a card, the lower vibration of your wishes coming true, getting everything you desired. And this is the card of wish fulfillment. You are drawing that into you. You have that here now. This partner is yours. And if you are single, this partner is coming. And you need to trust in that, not in your head and your fear and your doubt, okay? Your wishes are coming true. Beautiful. Who doesn't want that? Mazel tov. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at additional guidance for singles. Additional guidance card for singles, please. Thank you, Spirit. Please show me additional guidance for singles. Additional guidance for singles. Okay. 
you have rest and reconsider. So this is Nine of Swords. This speaks to me about the anxiety that I keep picking up. All right. Um, I could feel it in my gut right now. And for couples, please show me. Couples, please show me. What do they need to know? Oh, that one came out thick and fast. To be fair. Mm. All right. So, singles. All the single ladies. Um, we have... Where is it? Okay. So, my apologies. I think that this is actually wands. Nine of wands. Um, so, it speaks about... Still in a card of anxiety, but not quite as harsh as the Nine of Swords. Uh, it speaks about fatigue, perseverance, strength and recharge. And it says, sometimes the struggle to create and maintain harmonious and fulfilling relationships just seems like too much work, doesn't it ever? <laughs> you put forth your best effort and you give more than your share and find that there are still issues to be dealt with. You're tired and at times you just want to give up. The message of this card is to persevere. You may have been disappointed or hurt in the past. Know that the past sorrows have made you stronger, even though you don't feel that way at the moment. Okay. And I think I was talking about that before, about the stuff that you've been through and it's making you stronger. It's building you up. Just need to recharge is really where you're at. If you are a single Libra. All right. And for couples, you have the card of to be fair. Um, so the key words with this card are balance, justice. Needing to consider options, mutual benefit. And it very much talks about um, the law of cause and effect, okay? So you talk a lot about the law of attraction. I feel like that's the most common one, but there are many laws um, and they're the kind of things that govern us that we don't even know about, right? Um, in terms of relationship message, it says, can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is so much to be learned and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, Weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is the one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued and respected. To be fair to all. There you go. And if anyone can do that, it's you, Libra, because you only truly want the best for everyone. All right. Stay out of your head. This is your wishes coming true if you let it, if you let them. All right. Much love to you. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. Helps my channel more than you know. And I'll be back with you next week to do the full moon love readings. Take care.